and welcome to Dublin Zoo. I'm Kelly from the Discovery and Learning team and today we've come to our African plains to visit an elegant antelope called an oryx. Perhaps you can say the name of the animal after me. I'll say it once more and then you repeat it at home. Oryx. Well done. So the particular type we've come to see today are called scimitar horned oryx and they live in the African plains at Dublin Zoo along with some other animals that you might recognise. They live along with the tall giraffe and the stripy zebra. But while a lot of people know about giraffes and zebra, not very many people know about oryx. So we're going to find out a little bit about them today. <music> So you may have noticed that their horns look like this. This is a horn from a scimitar horned oryx. So it's from an old oryx that passed away of old age at Dublin Zoo. And you probably spotted when you were looking at the oryx that they have very long and curved horns like this. So they're long and curved and they're pointed at the end. Older oryx have the long curved horns appearance to them, but younger oryx, when they're calves, they have very straight horns that get longer as they get older. So they grow straight up first and then they start to get curved as they get to be older. Now, the reason they're called scimitar horned oryx is because of that lovely curved shape to their horns. If anyone has ever seen the animation Aladdin, you might remember that the character has a very curved sword called a scimitar sword. So our oryx are called scimitar horned oryx after the shape of those swords. And you probably also notice that all of them have those horns out there. So males and females can have the horns in antelopes and they'll often use them for protection against predators in the wild or perhaps if they're having fights with one another. But if you've ever seen deer, you probably notice that deer have antlers rather than horns. So how do antlers look different to horns? What do you think? So this is an antler from a fallow deer, like the deer you find in Phoenix Park, where Dublin Zoo is located. So deer and their relatives have antlers, while oryx and their relatives, like antelopes, have horns. So one of the main differences that you might have noticed is that antlers have branches on them. So they have all these parts coming off. So that's different to what we saw on our scimitar horned oryx. So deer and their relatives have antlers and those antlers have branches, while scimitar horned oryx have those horns and they don't have branches. In the past, people often confused oryx for unicorns, probably because they have a similar shape to their body and also because of their horns on their head, especially when they turned to the side and it looked like they had one horn instead of two. In the wild, scimitar horned oryx used to be found along the edges of the Sahara Desert and also along open, dry savanna areas across northern Africa. They used to be found in really large herds or groups of oryx. Unfortunately, they're no longer found in the wild. They're only found in zoos and safe protected areas. And it's really important for them to have homes there so people can protect them and learn all about them. We learned about their horns earlier on and how they might have protected them from predators in the wild. But can you spot some other features that might have helped them in those hot, open, desert areas in the wild in the past. So well done if you have spotted that they have very light coloured bodies. Most of their bodies are coloured white, apart from maybe around their neck where it's a red or brown colour. So the adults are mostly white colour because that helps reflect sunlight away from their body and that helps them keep cool in warm areas. You may have also noticed that they have lines around their eyes, dark areas around their eyes, and we think they might help to reduce the glare from the sun. A bit like if we were wearing sunglasses to help make sure that our eyes are protected from the sun. They also had to live in areas where there was lots of sand in the wild. And that's the reason why they have really thick eyelashes, so sand didn't get into their eyes. And they also have very large hooves, and that would make sure that they didn't sink into the sand as they walked along. We've 
learned lots about our scimitar horned orcs today, our lesser known species that live at Dublin Zoo. We hope you had lots of fun joining us here to learn about them and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.